Hey guys, Marco here. So today's video is super simple. We're just gonna be looking at when you um, arrive to rehearsal or on a Sunday morning, what are you gonna do to set up your keys and your pads? So we're gonna be working with the computer a little bit and just kind of an overview of what you're looking at right here on the keyboard. So let's hit it. All right, so the first thing, super simple, the power is right over here on your left. So uh, usually it's gonna be on when you show up, but if you need to, you just click the power button. And if you come over on the screen, um, it's gonna show up as a grand piano one. So we're just gonna zoom in a little bit on that. And, and we that's a great sound, but we're not gonna be using that. So on your left, we have this top um, little two buttons right here. And you're just gonna click the plus button and it's gonna go to mellow piano one. And so mellow piano one is just the sound we're gonna be working with. We've already kind of dialed it in, saved the presets. So you don't have to worry about changing anything. And it'll sound a little bit like this. Um, so that's pretty easy for the keys. Uh, it should be very simple. Now, if you come over here to the right, we have a bunch of different sounds. You don't really have to mess with these. The one that I'm gonna be showing you is the reverb over here. As you can see, the button is on, so you can turn it off and on. Usually it stays on, gives you that nice sound for the reverb. Um, but if for some reason you're not hearing reverb, it might be because this isn't on. So just make sure that is clicked on. And um, one last thing is if you really want to um, get into some of the different sounds that the keyboard can make, for example, if it sounds too muddy, if it sounds too bright, that would be in the voice edit section. And so when you click on voice edit, it's gonna open up a couple of different settings over here on the screen where it's really gonna start to get into, you know, the different sounds of the keyboard and the different ways that um, the, the sounds can be manipulated. So we have volume, we got um, the type of reverb. All of this, again, is set to the correct preset. But, for example, in here, you can turn down the reverb. So if for some reason, somebody's saying, hey, let's turn down the reverb a little bit, you can change that with these two toggles over here. So you can press it down to decrease or increase. Again, all of these things, Google is your best friend if you don't know what it means. If you need to adjust the chorus, you should never have to do that. But just a lot of different settings in here if you feel like you need to change the way that the keyboard sounds. And once again, Google is your best friend for those. All right, one of the things you wanna do after you selected the mellow piano, is you're gonna go over to this where it says Master EQ Edit. Um, and you're just gonna click one of the arrows. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one, just click one. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna open up an interface over here where it's kind of looking at the different types of pianos that um, the sounds that it could create. So on this top right, you know, minus and plus sign, what we're gonna do is you're gonna kind of click through until you get to what's mellow three. So here it is. Um, so mellow three, that's the sound that we wanna be using. See it right here. Obviously it's gonna automatically pull up like normal. Um, and then there's also bright sounds, but we wanna stick to mellow th uh, three. So make sure you just get on that and then you are good to go um, for your piano sound. Last thing for key setup is your master volume. You wanna keep it about in the middle section. Usually the sound guys can um, make it sound the way that it needs to just by it being right here. You don't want it to be too loud because it's gonna cause a lot of issues for the EQ in the back. So just keep it about halfway, should be good. These don't really mess with anything. Um, just keep them where they're at. Um, try not to touch them because it does have some interference with the computer as we'll find out in a second. All right, over here on the computer, once you turn on the computer, it's going to open up this interface. And so you're going to want to click on Elevate User. So right here, the left, the one that's the piano. And click Elevate. Password is on the computer, if you ever need to remember. It's just Elevate, um, no caps. So put that in, Elevate, and you should be in. So once that loads, it's going to open up your home screen. Sometimes it automatically will just open up the main stage. But what you're looking at is down here. So this little guy that's jumping this is what we use. So once we zoom in on that, click on that, and sometimes it takes a little bit to just kind of open up, so bear with it. But it's gonna automatically open up the concert or kind of the interface that we're gonna be using. And so this is, you just click ignore if anything like this comes up, don't worry about that. Uh, so it's gonna open up this concert, let's put it in full screen over here. All right, so this is what we're gonna be working with. Once this is all set up, um, again, there's another video that's going to be on kind of what this all means, but this is exactly what you're going to be looking at. A couple of things, you just want to make sure that over here on the keyboard, we have our sliders. 
And so you just wanna make sure that when you're moving the sliders, it's also affecting the computer. So once you move these, uh, if you look over at the computer, it's affecting what's going on in the concert. And again, I'll walk you kind of through exactly how that's working in a second. Okay, the last thing when you're doing setup, so when you're looking at the left of the computer, you're gonna see these three different cords. This is what we're using to connect the computer to the piano to the soundboard. So this right here is our audio channel. So you're gonna make sure that that is plugged in correctly. Um, and there's also, you'll see there's two headphone jacks, but if you look really closely, you might not really be able to see it on the camera. Um, the one that it's plugged into has a little headphone symbol right to the left of it. And that's the one that you wanna make sure it's plugged into. So just keep it there, make sure it's all the way in. Sometimes it likes to poke out. And then you have these two USBs, just make sure they're in. Sometimes you seem to you know, pull them out, pull, pull them back in if something's not working. Um, but one connects to our sliders and the other one connects to the piano. And then of course we have our charger. Make sure this is always plugged in at all times. Um, this computer is a little bit older, so it has a tendency to die out if it's not plugged in. So just make sure that's all working when you're looking over. Now if you come over to the back of the keyboard, you're gonna be able to see there's a couple different cables that are also going on. These are some things you wanna make sure are plugged in correctly. Our XLR cable, which is where the sound comes from, is going to be plugged into the left output, which has the L. Over here, we have our USB that's connecting to the computer. So just make sure that's all good. Our sustain pedal is going on right here. And then our power input. And that is everything that goes into setting up the keyboard.